I'm Chandler Fishak. I'm with the Smithsburg Tractor Society and we're here in our museum in Smithsburg, Maryland. Agriculture has always been in my blood. It's been a long family thing uh, with the fish axe. Uh, they have been farmers since the beginning of time, uh, and I always wanted to continue on that tradition. But it was very difficult. We didn't have a lot of farming ground, so I have rented two fields. We're farming about five acres right now, and we're enjoying every minute of it. We're growing sweet corn and field corn. We're growing bloody butcher corn, which was grown in the 1800s in Washington County. Uh, we're making grits and cornmeal out of that. The sweet corn is a peaches and cream. It's a very sweet, bicolor variety, and it's amazing. Everybody loves it. Uh, and we're going to be doing wheat this winter that was developed in Washington County also in the 1800s. We enjoy the historical aspect of the agriculture. All of our equipment is very old. Uh, the tractor that started it all is in 1939 and the planter that we're using is 100 years old. Uh, so we just love the old stuff, we love working it, we love keeping it alive and keeping it going so it just made sense to keep the crops the same time frame as the equipment we're using. We call this field Weavers to pay homage to Mr. Weaver, who was a very upstanding citizen in the community. He took part in the Lions Club, he worked on lawnmowers, and he farmed this ground as a young man. So we're paying respects to him since he's passed on and we're continuing on his legacy. I believe the future of the Tractor Society and the future of agriculture go hand in hand. Our goal is to keep the next generation interested in farming, keeping it alive, keeping the public involved. Anybody out there that has a tractor that doesn't know what to do with it but loves being around it is welcome to come join us. We have all the equipment to hook to it. We have the places for them to play. Uh, and we just want to get everybody involved so that we can keep agriculture alive in Washington County.